Hello and welcome to workout six of the Lift It Now 28 day workout challenge. I hope you are feeling really good after the first five workouts. Now today we're gonna to focus on abs and core. I thought this would be a nice one for day six and indeed Saturday. So first of all, what I'd like to talk to you about is what is your core and abs. Now, I think often when you think of core, you're gonna think about your six pack, your muscles that are coming down the front of your tummy. But in fact, the core is much deeper. It is lots and lots of muscles that work to keep our trunk supported. And actually there are a lot of internal muscles that we need to make sure we are engaging. So when I say engage your core, the first thing I want you to try and think of and the easiest cue that I can, um, and I've found that successful people is just imagine you're trying to hold in a wee. Um, so if you just have that little pull up and in, you're gonna find your pelvic floor muscles are up and in, and we've all got them. So if you can just squeeze and engage. So when I do particularly remind you, or just remind yourself to pull and engage your core, that is what I mean. Just imagine you're pulling up your pelvic floor muscles. What you'll find is your abdominals will start to engage as well. So rather than just think brace the six pack, think pelvic floor muscles up and engage, hollowing out the tummy. And then throughout all of these exercises, you're gonna be making sure that you're really focusing my muscle connection on the specific muscles that we're trying to work. So today, what I have done is kept it very simple as far as we have 10 exercises that we're going to do because I want to give you the time to think about and perfect each exercise. So some of you might be able to keep going for the full time and others might just need to stop and reset throughout and that is a really good idea if you're finding that your back is starting to hurt or you're just not feeling it where we're trying to get it to work you can just stop and reset you might just wait until the next exercise or just take smaller breaks in between some of these exercises to get maximum uh, functionality and just to really feel it in the muscles that we're trying to get so hopefully that all makes sense do let me know if you have any problems with any of the exercises. And most of these exercises, if you have any issues um, getting down to the floor, you should be able to do it on even potentially a sofa or a bed, um, or you can do quite a few of them standing as well, just to give you that option. Um, so we've got 10 exercises, as I say. We're starting with a plank, and we're gonna do some side planks, mountain climbers, so quite warming ones to start with. Then we'll be laying down for some crunches, ankle taps, ab cycle, Russian twist, and then we're finishing off with some alternating ab cycle crunch. So we really should feel all of our abs firing off, hopefully in the next few minutes. Get around, I'm gonna stop chatting now. We're gonna take it down to the floor or against a wall or a worktop if you want to do your plank there. So we're gonna aim for a minute if you can do it. So if you already know how to do a plank, you get straight into it now because you're gonna be more challenged that way. You can choose an elbow or a hand plank. You can either come here onto your knees if that's enough or come up onto your toes. You want to go to the next level, bring your hands level with your shoulders. Again, you can come to knees or coming up onto your toes. Okay, so there's the level choices. So choose where you want to start with. And I'm going to start the timer now. That's it. So you want to focus on squeezing your glutes and engaging your upper back as well. So squeeze your shoulder blades together. You want your hips to be level. If you find that your hips are coming up or down, you might just need to reset again. You want to make sure that your body isn't adapting. It's very easy for it to just help you to try and get there. So you're squeezing everything in, holding your pelvic floor muscles in whilst you're holding that. That is 30 seconds already. You're doing a great job. That's it, keeping it nice and tight and squeeze. If this is still too easy, you can add some more. You can add a little bit of a march. That's it. You have that choice before Raiden. And you can make it harder or easier. If you're struggling, you can drop it down to your knees or perhaps you've already taken a break. It's not a problem. If you can do it for 10 seconds, fantastic. Five more seconds. Three, two, one, and drop it down. Fantastic. Okay, another challenging one, a side plank to work our obliques. We need to have either our elbows or our hands underneath and level with our shoulder because it's going to make us in a far stronger position. We're going to stack our hips, stack our knees, and you can choose to either stack your um, ankles if you're used to this, or you might want to make a light 
uh, a wider footing at the base by putting them next to each other, like one in front of the other. So we're gonna lift up. So if we're on our left side, we're gonna open up across the chest if you've got the balance there to really stack the hips. If you need to have a little bit of support, that's fine. If you can't get that far, again, if you're lifting through here, you are gonna feel your obliques working. That's it. Keep it going. We're gonna do another 10 seconds on this side. Well done. Really opening up if you can, but keeping your hips stacked. Don't lean forward or back. Three, two, one. Fantastic. Well done. Let's switch it across. You may find that this side is easier or harder. Everyone is different, but quite often they feel quite a big difference on this side plank. So get yourself in position. That's it. Elbow or hand underneath shoulder, and then we lift up. That's it. If you can, opening up through the chest, making sure you're not leaning back or leaning forward. Good. You should really feel that engagement through here. That's it. If you're finding yourself very wobbly, remember you can just use your hand or just take it down to here. You're still going to engage those muscles. That's another 10 seconds. Nice. Come on. That's it. Three, two, one, and drop it down. Nice. We've done this one. We're going to do mountain climbers next. So we've done this one before together. So we can do this on our feet if we need to, or bring it to our knees. It's up to us. Coming up, and now off we go. So bringing your knees up underneath you, hips stay level, weight should be forward. That's it. Now you can choose to do this at walking pace. You can try and bring the speed up. As you bring the speed up, make sure your hips don't creep up. The very common thing, the faster you start bringing those knees up, or the tireder you get, you start lifting the hips. Keep it down nice and low. You want a nice flat back. Engaging your core, feeling your abdominals lifting. Those knees up to the chest. That's it. Good. Now you might find you've had to rest. That's not a problem. If you're still going, we're going to go for the 15 seconds. That's it. Keep it going, keep the back flat, keep your core engaged. Fantastic, so nearly there. And three, two, one. We're gonna take it down to our backs now, crunches. We are focusing on isolating our upper abdominals this time. Knees bent, feet on the floor. Engaging your pelvic floor, okay? Lower back supported and pushed into the ground. And we're gonna gently crunch up and then control it down. So keep that squeeze in the core the whole time. If you can, try and keep your head back and you can either let your hands just slide up towards your knees or if you're used to and prefer to pop your hands behind the head, that is fine. We're really focusing on that squeeze and control it down. It's very easy just to sort of fling around on this, but I'd much prefer it when people really focus on lifting from your upper abs, squeezing up, controlling down. Hopefully you can start to feel some fire burning in there. That's it. Nice work. Squeeze. We're going to go for two more. Fantastic. Just gently release allow yourself to wiggle so you get yourself in a comfy position. Now we're going to work the obliques again. We're going to do some ankle taps. So again, make sure your lower back's down. And we're going to take our right hand down to our right ankle and our left down to our left ankle. So we're wiggling and you're feeling your side opening up and then crunching. Try and keep your neck and shoulders relaxed. I know there's quite a lot of tension that can build up in here. Try and keep it as relaxed as possible. You might want to pop the tongue into the roof of the mouth just to try and remove a little bit of tension. That's it. Really focusing on those side muscles. Can you feel them? I hope you can. Lots of fire. Remember, rest anytime you need to too much tension somewhere else in the body. That's it. Let's do four more. One, two, three, four, and release. 
really try and release that tension because I'm hoping that's really built up over these last few exercises. You're doing well. So we've done upper and sides. Let's do some lower abs now. Let's do some ab cycle. So what we're going to do is, again, make sure your lower back is pushed into the ground. We're going to bring our feet up into the air. We're going to extend one leg away and then the other leg away. Try and keep the foot flat. Now, if you find coming low starts lifting your lower back off the ground, just come up a little bit higher. Okay, some people, you might be working up here and that's good. Focus on working your lower abs. Try and keep your legs, muscles, not doing too much of this work. That's it, pulling back up from those muscles when you get that nice stretch at the bottom. Stretch and then pulling back up. Yes. Fantastic. That's it, a few more. Extend and pull back up. Four more, four, three, two, one, and release and relax. Fantastic. Okay, so now we're gonna come up and we're gonna do some Russian twists. We're gonna work those obliques. You can do this just body weight, but if you do wanna hold something whilst you're doing it, feel free. Now, we're gonna rotate round as far, can, as far as you can one way, and as far as you can the other, keeping the chest lifted. Now, often, I notice that people will just move the weight around. It all comes from the shoulder, but we're trying to get the twist and the rotation through the body. That's it, keeping the heart space lifted. If you're riding this easy, lift your feet up, balance up, put onto your coccyx. That's it. Well done. Really feel that twist through the body. Fantastic. you've got it, keep it going. Just a rotation, remember you can just be doing this body weight, hopefully you can feel your obliques working, you can feel your abdominals having to work hard to keep you lifted, keep your lower back supported by keep squeezing those pelvic floor muscles up. Four more, four, three, two, and one. Well done, really good job. We're gonna finish off with one more exercise. We're gonna try and bring everything together by doing alternating ab cycle crunch. So we're bringing a lot of the things we've already done into one movement. So we're gonna start by bringing the knees up above the hips, feet off the ground, lower back supported through the floor. So we're gonna twist by bringing our right elbow to our right knee as we extend the right leg away. Then we bring the right leg back up We twist the left uh, elbow across, so we're crunching, we're twisting, and we're extending. That's it, hopefully you've already started, keeping everything squeezed in, lower back stays supported, into the floor. That's it. Nice. Remember, at any time, just pop the feet down, reset so if you're finding that you're just not feeling it within your abdominals or that it's just getting too much tension in all the other parts of your body just stop pop the feet down release the tension stop if you feel you need to or get back up go again see if you can get a few more reps really focusing on the quality of the reps that's it this session's really great opportunity just to work on squeezing the right muscles it, controlling the movements and then we'll do some more circuits moving between exercises that's it four more four three two one and release fantastic well done bringing your knees into your chest giving yourself a big hug that's it well done And then we're going to come up into a seated position, and bringing our legs in front of us. That's it. So we're going to bend the left knee, so the left foot then steps over the right leg. We're going to turn to the left, hugging into that left leg, keeping the heart space lifted, feeling that twist and rotation through the body, and we're just going to hold it there. That's it. 
taking some nice deep breaths, allowing yourself to cool down, just stretching these muscles out. And release. And then we're going to do the same on the other side, bending the right knee, stepping over, turning to the right side. Feeling that lovely stretch as you turn into your leg. And gently release. We're going to do a nice full body stretch. You can either take it down onto the floor, so you can reach up and through the full body stretch, or you can take it up onto your feet to finish off in an energizing full body stretch up to the ceiling. Really reaching through the fingertips, whether you're on the floor or on your feet. One more nice big, big breath together, breathing in and out. Fantastic. Well done, everybody. I hope you felt that in your abdominals and your core. That is workout six done. Hello, Raiden. And tomorrow it's going to be a wonderful Sunday vibe for some nice stretching and yoga incorporation for another 15 minute workout. Thank you for joining me and I hope you have a fantastic day.